hello everyone in this tutorial i will show you how to draw a building elevation outline using autocad and google earth pro the building elevation outline sometimes we call this as street wall or street frontage to draw this first of all you have to go to your google earth pro open it then selected your area save the image just switch on the scale and compass this will help you to draw in autocad save it in your local drive choose the high resolution yes this is the high resolution highest resolution now i am saving it now open your autocad file here I, in the description i put a autocad uh, template just open it here there are some layers i fixed and with uh, fixed line width and transparency so it will help you to do the work faster if you want to just follow my instructions or you can modify that that one so i'm opening this file then saving the i start work by saving the file first of all then i saved it in my local drive open the reference layer first there are different layers choose the reference layer i put the transparency zero and drag your google art image in the reference layer then put it here and now we'll here the scale is 50 50 feet so i am drawing a 50 feet line here 80 feet line here then i will align this photo with this line draw another line around the scale scale it align yes now it's aligned so now my google earth image have a same dimension the proper dimension now i am drawing the baseline of the elevation i'm choosing the reference layer again I will draw some construction line. Construction lines are these references are, are light, so it will not hamper when you will drawing. Just copy it and paste in the outline of the building when your building shape changes or have new forms. Here this form is extruded, so I put another line here end of the building the back buildings and another building so i will see the building from road to towards that that side now i need the height of the buildings and different forms in the google art when you click on the scale there is a 3d path using the 3d path you can measure any height uh, which is three room click one point and then click another point a line will arrive and you can see the length in the window so it's 13 feet and the second building here is it, um, it's 13 feet also look at the window then
this in this way just i am measuring all the building height and taking notes so i need basically three building height the major three building nine and put another construction line horizontal construction line at the base so my first height is 13 feet and o enter second height is 32 feet I noted and the third height yeah, I have to check yeah it's 126 feet so I this is the construction line for my vertical dimensions now I will draw the buildings based on the horizontal and vertical lines I will draw lines first of all I will draw the massive building and the important one actually so you don't need to draw everything outline of massive building I found it's yeah this one okay. and keep it in depth one because it's very front it's the very front near you so I am putting a depth one which is very thick then the second one um, it's it's very far from the streets so I am keeping it in the I'll keep it in the depth 3 and the, another one it's very close so I also put it in the depth 1 ok now my basic buildings have been drawn it's in that much easier then I will draw the another line that is a building mass between these two it's one floor height put it in the third depth it's also far mm. the panels are actually rendering items in, in, so i will all put all panels in the rendering layer so these are very light in transparency and line thickness it's five feet after every five feet i will put the put this line at first floor level just draw some and copy it's very easy everywhere and there is a barrier between this paneling so just put delete those now there is a window I will draw the window now there is the window I am taking the length of the window these are visible elements so I am I am taking the measure yes I took the measure and the window panel is uh, shorter than the main panel okay. the window depth should be same as the building depth but the panel depth should be the transparent one more transparent one lighter one this is a form extruded from the main form this is another form another form these are extruded from the main form so I am taking okay 
put the line where the form extruded here are some small forms small lines okay now extruded form should be the high depth I mean in depth one I will not change depth that much for all extruded and the front thing I will just put one line depth there are some lines this one. more connection okay. the ground form is totally different from the the ground ground floor facade is different from the other facade so I am drawing a bold line there I am not sure yet yes there is a, a strong white line so it should be visible in the elevation because it's a strong it's giving the form its identity and what I will do in the middle let me sometimes it's it, it's up to yourself or what you how you want to present this and um, it depends on your personal style now I will do the window panels I have to put it in the rendering layer I am taking the width 2.5 feet it's shorter than the main panels just copy it and paste and extending extending the all panels up to the top layer but their uh, hatch would be different okay. just extend all the lines to the top now let's look at the elevations here the facade it has a specific pattern we can't completely um, copy this or we can completely implement this pattern in our AutoCAD but we just um, reproduce this as a hatch pattern so you see here for every panel the top of the uh, top of the panel there is a pattern we will figure out some something similar in the AutoCAD hatch and we will apply it in the top facade now give H enter your hatch, uh, hatch window will appear select a hatch which um, somehow close to your facade you scale it properly mm. angle it I put the angle 135 thus it is horizontal now apply it in the well click and the surface will be selected now apply the everywhere
this way you finish your hatching the same material same hatch this is the process now we'll put the window for other buildings here is a specific pattern of window we need to know the horizontal distance between this window so open your 3d path again measure the seal height necessary heights window to window distance window width now come to your autopad take your construction line according, according to your measure put the base of the window then put the vertical distance horizontal distance among the building edge and the window then the window path After drawing the window line, window, we will put the vertical distance among the floors here. So, average um, floor distance in German is 3.32 meter. We will put a construction line every 3.32 meter. Then we will set our repeat our window in each floor. now just copy this window and put it in the another building give that a window depth window at first depth because this is the front building now here are some trees 
aligned just take the distance from google map and put reference line for the center of the trees after putting the construction line we will put the human trees etc from our block files Now let's put the reference line for the windows for the trees. Sorry, open our rendering file, and here we'll get all kinds of elements you need to render the whole elevation. Then just copy it, copy your necessary one, control C, control V and paste it wherever you want to put your render okay. I copied all the human here human is very important to understand the scale okay. now proceed and render the elevation as you want now if you want you can put some dimension or text um, showing the name of the area or the length width etc it's up to you it's not uh, mandatory for ele elevation i think it's not that mes necessary thank you everyone for watching this video